Hi everyone, welcome to our channel C Studio. This is George from Seed. Hi, this is Robin from C Studio. So Robin, what do we have here? Well, George, do you know that we already have three products our Things family? Hmm, the terminal, the speaker, and the computer. Yeah, sure. So today, we're going to introduce you guys our new products, Reserver. Reserver is based on Odyssey x86 version 2 board and powered by the latest Intel Core 11th generation processor i3, i5, i7 and the Intel UHD graphics or Iris Shade graphics for the high performing versions. Mm -hmm. And also, the Reserver is compatible with both Windows and Linux OS. Mm -hmm. So let's unbox our receiver. Cool. First, we can open the box from here, and that is. Oh. Okay. First, we can find there's a assemble guide. Yes, yeah, so a very detailed one. Mm -hmm. And there's small box here. No, yes, it's a box of accessories. Okay. So we can see what's, what's in it. Let me see. First, we can find two attendants for Wi Fi. Two attendants. One screwdriver, a black oh, it's for. A extra cable for the fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Several screws. Yeah. And one AC to DC adapters. Yes. That and is. we'll also provide the, the AC adapter out of the out of the box but in the package. Cool. And here is the big thing. Our super star reserver. Yes. So how do you like the appearance of the reserver, George? Mmm, I like its silver co colors and uh, it seems quite compact and neat. Yes, it's, it's of the really tiny size. On the front, we can find there is a, a power button and beside there is a reboot button. Mm -hmm. turn, off, turn around on the left hand, we can find the, there is several I.O. The top one is the DC jack following by the audio jack and we can find um, two, um, two USB port blue for 3.2 and black for 2.0 one DP port, uh, one HDMI port and finally we get two uh, 2.5 gigabit uh, Ethernet LAN port now and the side. turn around on the, on the back we can find four golden um, connectors it's for... It's for the antenna. It's for antenna. Yeah. Okay, cool. And for our high-performing version, we will have another AI panel for this oh. side to add an, a sounder board for USB Type-C port and an extra USB Type-A port. Mm -hmm. So... So I, I want to see how the inside... Let's open it. Okay, let's just open it. So it's very simple to access to the hard hardware inside our reserver. You need just to remove the screws Screw. from the bottom of the reserver. Okay, to here, to there. Cool. And just to take up the shell of the reserver. Wow, it's now easy. you can see what's inside in the reserver. Okay. So uh, there are two brackets for the hardware drive disks. Hardware drive disks. Yes, and it's very easy to install this, like you, you just remove the screws. Okay, let's, okay, let's show how to remove screws. Well, you can easily install your HDD just <coughs> like pull out the brackets mm -hmm. like this okay. and installed your SATA HDD to the brackets and, and then, then just to push it down to connect the SATA HDD to the connector of the so back. 
Okay. Yes, we uh, actually mm -hmm. we can we can attach two SATA HDD. So behind the two uh, HDD blanket, this must be the X86 board. So can we have a closer look? Sure. Here is the main board of the server. It is x86 architecture. And well, here is a dual channel DDR4, 3200 sodium, which allows you to add two DDR4 up to 26 GB in total. Um, and we have expansion socket M.2 E key for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth modules and M.2 M key for NVMe SSD and the M.2 B key for the cellular modules like 4G, 5G, LoRaWAN modules. Also, we have PCIe 4.0 times 4 slots for extra expansion. Well, uh, we also have internal I.O. Some point outs. Here are two COM point outs. One is for RAs 232 RAs, 485 RAs, 422, and the other is for RAs 232. We also have 28 pin Arduino called processor headers. And for high performing versions, the pinout is 13 pin Raspberry Pi called processors header. And we have two USB 2. 2.0 headers and for the other side well you can see we assembled a large scanned a wiper chamber heatsink enable the max power of the cpu so robin you have just give up a brief introduction of the reserver mm, i have several questions i want to ask you first is what are the advantage of our reserver comparing to a pc for me, I could choose to use PC as server too. Well, first, we have to know the server have different uses from PC. For server, it needs to provide data, sources, service to other computers. So for server, the most important specificities we care about most is reliability and stability. Most server needs to work for 24 hours and 7 days. Of course, you can use a normal PC as server for some use like a home media server, but for most application mm -hmm. scenarios, a server is a must. And uh, another one is that the server is compact a mini server and is uh, is much more suitable for each computing, mm -hmm. uh, which means it can be placed on any surface you want, unlike a normal server in the server room. It has less limit for virus application scenarios, so at the same time, it, it, it consumes less power. Sounds great. Okay, so what is the reserver basically designed for? I mean, the situations. As an age computing server, you can use reserver in industry, office, and to application smart city, smart agriculture, robotics. Reserver have widely application in various fields. You can use as any app applications you like. Mm -hmm. Wow, there are so many situations provided. That's good. But what if our customers need to customize the reserver for special needs? For example, the shape, the color, the peripherals. Uh, well, about this question, I have to see. See, it has ODM service. You can customize and customer your own reserver to meet your own needs. So what about the computational power? Can such a tiny box handle those situations you mentioned above? Do we plan to enhance uh, is in the future for better performance. Well, we will release a series of servers. There are two main versions of for reserver, as well as the Aussie X86 version 2 board, mm -hmm. best version, and high performing version. In each version, there might be different types which have different configuration in some part. And they have different CPU, some are powerful and have different graphics interface and even different appearance. You, you can check the detail specific table in our wiki or bazaar. They will mm -hmm. release in the next few months. Okay. Well, let's talk about seed. 
We all know SEED is an IoT hardware enabler. What SEED could bring to our reserver? Well, reserver is a device, but reserver of SEED is not only a device behind reserver. We have hundreds of engineers, workers to offer technical support, to offer solutions, to offer the customization, to offer the best service of our products. Now, I will show you a demo of environmental monitoring private cloud platform designed by C-Studio. Here is a dashboard. This demo demonstrates the SenseCap private cloud platform. SenseCap is an environmental monitoring solution provided by the SEED IoT department. They have nearly 100 professional environmental sensors and supporting cloud platforms. For some users who are unwilling to afford the price of cloud server and who do not want to share the private sensor data with the public network, they can choose to deploy ReServer as a private cloud platform. ReServer has low power consumption and it has stable performance, which will be suitable for use as an environmental monitoring server. Okay, so much for this day. Thank you. Follow us. Stay tuned for ReServer. Like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye.